Hi, David Taub here, coming to you from Next Level Guitar. Hope you're doing well and hope you're enjoying your guitar journey. I want to talk to you a little bit about the harmonic minor scale today. I like this scale a lot. It has a very exotic sound, almost Middle Eastern. Sounds really cool. And um, let me play you the scale real quick in the key of A. Now I'm going to show this to you off of the low E string root so you can find it in any key by putting your first finger on the root note and playing the shape. Okay? Remember, you want to just not memorize shapes. You want to always learn the notes and the intervals, not just the fingering. So I'll show you the fingering today so you can learn it, but then learn all the notes and the intervals and then learn it all over the neck. Okay. The scale slow sounds like this. Okay, very exotic, very Middle Eastern. That's the harmonic minor, that's that key note, that major seventh. So think of it as, and I'm going to flash the intervals across the screen, think of it as a minor scale or an aeolian mode, natural minor scale, but instead of a flat seventh, you're going to play a raised seventh or a natural seventh, a major seventh. That's the only difference between harmonic minor and aeolian mode, one note. That's it, but that one note is pretty critical because that one note, that's that one note behind the root. So I always throw that in there when I go back to it. Just think of that's that. Just think of where your root note is. For instance, we're playing this in this key of A, uh, right in the middle of the guitar, right in the middle of the neck. Go back a half step, and there's your major seventh, right? In the key of A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your major seventh is that G sharp. So you get that note. So it's a one, two, uh, flat three, four, five, flat six, major seventh. Where Aeolian mode, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seventh. That's the difference, okay? So practice that scale and get that down. Okay, tighter shot of the neck. Let's show you this scale. I'm going to show it to you off the low E string root. So whatever key you want to play it in, play this shape. Uh, uh, we're going to play it in A, so you put your first finger on the A note, fifth fret. And here's the scale. First six notes are the same as the minor scale. So it would be one, three, four, one, three, four. With the minor scale or aeolian mode, you'd grab the G note, but harmonic minor, that's your flat seventh. We want the major seventh, so G sharp. So we gotta grab the second finger and then third finger. So you got one, three, four, one, three, four, two, three. And I always go back because the harmonic minor note or that major seventh is a half step behind the root. And then to continue it, go back a half step, one, two, four, two, three, one, two, four. There's that G sharp again. So in the key of A, you have your A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp. And then just repeat those notes. You want to play it in the key of G, just move that whole shape down to your first finger on the G note. Same shape. One, three, four, one, three, four, two, three, one, two, four, two, three, one, two, four. So you can find it in any key just by using that first finger on the root. All right, now that you know uh, at least one position for harmonic minor, and again, don't just learn the, the, the fingerings, you know? You want to learn the intervals, like I, you know, the flat, the, the, the seventh versus the flat seventh versus the, you know, your, your flat third and the note names. You always just don't want to know shapes. I just showed you the shape just to get it to you quick. Um, you'll always be a much better guitar player and musician if you take the extra time to learn the notes and the intervals. It'll help you in the long run, believe me. Too many guitar players are just, just learning shapes. Um, now, now that you know the scale, here's a piece that's usually left out of a lot of instructionals is, uh, how do I use it, right? Okay. You want to hear the difference in the scale very clearly. Again, you can play that harmonic minor scale over minor chords, but it sounds very exotic. So I like using it in a minor key progression over a five major chord. Remember, so much music is based off of this one, four, and five chords in a given key. And a lot of times in a minor key song or progression, you're going to have a major five chord. Over that major five chord, I love blasting the harmonic minor scale. And the first time you do it, you'll be like, wow. That sounds really cool because you can see, well, it's only one note difference. That one note difference makes a huge difference, especially in this instance, because you're going to that major seventh 
it, it really has that exotic sound. So lay down a very basic progression. Let's just use, I don't know, a couple of chords. Let's uh, A minor 7 to an E7. Okay? So lay that down with a simple rhythm and spend a couple measures on each chord. Something like this. Very simple, basic. But that's what you want when you're first starting to practice a new thing. Okay, A minor 7 to E7 is our progression. Now, like I always say, in order to find what you can use solo and improvisational wise, you just can't look at the key, A minor. That will only tell you a few things. You have to look at all the chords and analyze them and we'll teach you how to do that at our website nextlevelguitar.com. We have all kinds of modules and lessons that teach you how to break up the chords and play over each one and what to use and how to go about analyzing them. That's key. You just can't go by the key signature, okay? We know A minor 7th, here's what I want you to try. Over the A minor 7th chord, try just playing your straight A minor scale. Same as A natural minor, A aeolian. Same thing. Try just blow that over it and you know play all the licks and that you know in using that that A minor and you could even use A minor pentatonic actually over all the chords both chords because we're in minor key so throw in throw in some of your some of your you know your, your A minor pent pentatonic licks over over that too but I really want you to, to use that Aeolian, Aeolian mode because then when you switch to the 5 chord, that E7, I want you to try A harmonic minor. Not E harmonic minor, A harmonic minor, we're in the key of A, okay, we're A minor. So I want you over that chord to play that harmonic minor and really hit that major 7 and you're going to hear, you're going to be like, whoa, that sounds pretty cool because it'll have that, that real exotic kind of sound and that's what I want you to try so over the A minor 7 play A minor pentatonic and blues A aeolian you could even over that A minor 7 you could play A dorian that would work also but when you go to that E7 remember that's a major chord 5 major in a minor key progression great place for harmonic minor I want you to blast that A harmonic minor over that and it's going to be whoa it'll really open up some doors um, you want to study this uh, uh, in more in depth again go to our website this is just to get you going to introduce you to a great scale a lot of metal guys and metal players really love a harmonic minor and and uh, not a harmonic but harmonic minor and phrygian mode which is very exotic sounding also that has a flat second um, but it's similar to harmonic minor with that real exotic type of sound. Metal guys really love that. And if you like metal and hard rock, you're really going to want to get to know that. But harmonic minor, you hear it a lot. Whenever you, and, and, and remember what I always say, again, one of the most important, develop your ear. See, I want you to listen for that major seventh note, that harmonic minor note. Because then when you start to listen to other music, be like, you'll start to hear it. And you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, I hear this real exotic thing. That sounds like it could be harmonic minor or maybe Phrygian. Or I hear something a little, and that's how you develop your ear, to tune it into all these nuances of different chord shapes, of different notes in different scales. And you can use everything almost as an ear development exercise as you're learning. Okay? So I hope you enjoy that. Visit our website. Take care, and God bless. I'm David Taub, and you're the good people. Take care.